Do you want to start with nine or do you want me to go first? I want you to go first. You can always go first, my friend. All right. At nine, I've got Chance Myers. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Not too far off from you. Uh, yeah, for me, his stats were a little bit better than Andrew Wenger. Uh, I think his MLS Cup championship definitely holds a little bit more weight than the Canadian championship, if I do have to say so myself. Uh, stats obviously aren't going to jump off the page when compared to Wenger, uh, considering he was more of a defender, but played just shy of 11,000 minutes, which, again, as I said before with Wenger, it's it's a great accomplishment for a number one draft pick to play that much just in and of itself. Um I thought he's, you know, he was a solid player from what it looked like, played a lot of years, played a lot of minutes, uh, and that ultimately got him just into my list. I got to be honest with you, I'm really upset because about 30 seconds before we started recording, I moved him from 9 to 10. Nah, so come we on. Would've, we would have matched. Um, And honestly, I don't know why, because at 9, I have Chris Gabondi. Um. Current UConn head coach. And I, you know what it was? I, I now know because you started saying, oh, I'm looking at making changes. And I'm like, well, maybe I'm wrong too. So I just found the first one. I couldn't <laughs> flip it. I hate you. This is all your fault. Um, current UConn head coach, FC Dallas, number one pick in 2002. Miami had folded. So they had moved up a pick. Um, they were basically picking this athletic left back who was a finalist for the Herman Trophy, which is the best player in college soccer for three years in a row. And he won it in the second of those three years. So he was a finalist, winner, finalist. And then he got into MLS and he tore his ACL within the first two weeks, missed the entire first season, uh, and then came back the next year and made 22 appearances and just continued to rise up year after year. In total, made 119 appearances uh, over six years. Three goals, seven assists, all for FC Dallas. Then he moved on a free to Haugsund in Norway. So I think that might be why I bumped him up because he did end up going overseas. You know, he was one of those guys who took the next step. However, it knocked him down because it was a free. So he he didn't get, hey, you know, they didn't make anything off of him, which is unfortunate because that could have been a really big thing for them, taking a number one pick and selling him on. So um, no, nothing really jumps out of the page, but one of the one of the few guys who moved overseas, I think that puts him in the in the good conversation. How very Euro snob of you to say that Norway is the next step up from MLS. <laughs> Even in 2002, that feels like an insult. <laughs> Listen, that's 2002 MLS. You need to go. You need to go watch some 2002 MLS if that's what you think. I've been doing a bunch of history on that time period. I'll have you know. Oh yeah, you're so very cool, man. I was when I was filling out my list. He was like the one of the first names that I was like, oh, he's definitely going to be on my list. Like his his numbers look good. Like his time in Dallas looked pretty solid. And then he just fell kind of fell by the wayside. But uh, it's not a bad pick. I definitely thought he was one of the better number one picks as well. I will tell you, he was not originally on my list because I misread the, the Wikipedia article. When you open up the 2002 MLS draft, the first thing you see is the allocation draft. So I saw Pablo Mastroeni at number one. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> top top three, maybe top one. I don't know. I have to look at this. And then I dug into it as I'm getting deeper. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so I, I had to go back and add him in. But originally, I was going to just cut him completely. And I think Wenger was probably going to be the guy that came in. And I looked at it. I was like, you know what? I can get him in at 10. So I put him at 10. And then you manipulated my thoughts yeah made, yeah, yeah made me move him to nine so this is your fault uh-huh uh-huh sure blame me i will 